Happy Friday! How's it going? I'm actually shooting my vlog in the morning. I haven't done that in a while because, as you can see, finishing up my coffee. I have something funny to share with you. No, I, I can't share it for... We'll see. I'll tell you later. Just be surprising. You'd be surprised when I'm going to share it with you, what I'm going to share. I'm being really annoyed that I just brought that up and not telling you, but there's a reason I'm not telling you right now. It's just something I've done for the past week without really planning it. Uh, anyway, one of the things I'm going to be trying is I bought this like coconut creamer for my coffee. As you know, I get a lot of flack for all of the uh, coffee mate creamer because it's like not, first of all, it's not dairy, which is good because I'm realizing that I do think I'm becoming more and more sensitive to dairy products as I get older. Uh, so it's fine that it's non-dairy, but I also don't think it's human when I'm bringing my coffee. And just letting you guys know, I have no, there's just, I don't see me ever going like <laughs> chemical free. I'm so full of chemicals right now, it's scary. People always go, where do you get your energy? I was on a call last week actually. And they're like, wow, you have amazing energy. And I'm like, and they, you know, people think I drink like caffeine all day long. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and share it. I have not had a soda in seven days. Didn't really plan on doing that. And then it kind of happened and I was like, and then somebody said, I don't think you can go longer than, you know, another day. And I'm like, oh really? Because when you, this is jacked. When people challenge me and dare me to do something and they think I can't do it, that's when I do it. All that to say, I have my one cup of coffee in the morning, and, and quite, quite often, many times lately, I've only been having half a cup, and uh, then I've been drinking water the rest of the day. So that day when I was on that call, I was like, I've had one cup of coffee. People, it's just the way I made up. I have a lot of energy. Ah! It doesn't have to be from caffeine. A lot of people would always say to me, they never believed me when I would say, I have my coffee in the morning. I don't, I might mentally say like, oh, I'm not quite awake yet, I haven't had my coffee. I really don't. I don't feel any less peppy or any more peppy with caffeine or without it. So it's just the way that, the way that my... <sighs> Sorry about that. I felt it coming. I tried to stop it, but... Um, anyway, so, um, happy Friday. And here's the funny thing, you guys. If you saw my blog last night, I put up a blog at like 9.30. And, and I don't know why. I, I don't know why. I've had a blog for so long, right? I've been blogging since 2007. I, I don't know why creating this like official challenge for myself and saying, you know, putting it out there for you guys and saying, 60 days, this is it. You know, 60 days, I'm going to blog every single day. I'm going to try to put, you know, a vlog up there every day if I can. Um, but at least I will put a blog post up and say, you know, here's what I did today. Am I on it? Am I off of it? Did I have a problem? 60 days of working out six days a week. Even if that means that it's 9.30 at night and I haven't done something, I'm going to do something. Um, getting in that habit of just creating, putting fitness back in my life the way it used to be, which is I didn't get, I, I didn't let life or work overwhelm me. I just did it. I did what I had to do and I always made time for it. And when I evaluate my life the past couple of years, and particularly too, right after I quit my job, uh, end of last year, you know, I've just, it's hard. It's hard when you love what you do. I've created this company that I love and I'm very excited about it. So it's, it's hard to have this baby that you want to nurture and then you put yourself last. But at the end of the day, what I've been doing is, is putting myself last. So I have these goals for myself and I have things that I really enjoy doing, which is working out. I love working out. I've told you guys, I'm not one of those people that's like, Ugh, I hate cardio, Ugh, I hate working out. I freaking love it. I've just put myself last. I've put time for myself last and put the business first. And I'm no good to anybody if I'm burned up and crabby and feeling bad about myself. Um, that's just stupid. It's not only stupid for me, it's also stupid in a way for my company. If I founded this company based on my passion for fitness and I'm not getting fit, staying fit, and reaping the benefits of feeling and being fit, kind of makes no sense. It's kind of like somebody starting Food Network and being like, oh, I don't eat. You know, all I, all I have is stone soup every day. 
and I found it a food network. So um, for me, putting this challenge out there, I don't know what I, I don't know why it's so much different because I feel like I put a challenge out there for myself before, but maybe I was protecting myself by not being as bold and saying, here's the deal. Every single day for 60 days, I will log, I will tell you what I'm doing, and I will work out. And I've also committed to myself, I think certainly in the past, I've been saying, you know, I try to never lie on my blog and say I worked out when I didn't, and I, I don't think that I have. Um, but there certainly were times where maybe I'd just skirt around the topic because I was embarrassed. I was embarrassed that I didn't work out that week. Or I'd say, you know, I might say on a Monday, oh, I'm going to work out, and then I'd be on a trip, right? And I didn't do my workout. So I just wouldn't talk about it because I was like, oh, I can't keep saying that I didn't do it. And so maybe in the past I've skirted around it, but now it's like, it's it's time. It's time for me to, to do this, and I feel... I, I just finally feel like, for lack of a better way to say it, I've got my shit together. Like, it's just, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm not just talking about it. I'm not just hoping for it. I'm doing it. And this little challenge that I've put out for myself, and that I'm sharing with you guys, and requiring myself to, to honor my commitment, it is, it's created something different in me. Like last night, you guys, I got home. It was a, it, you know, all of my days are crazy busy, as I call them. But um, I got home. I've been gone all day. I had meetings in the morning, and then I had uh, a meeting over by O'Hare. And then I had another meeting out this way. Long story short, by the time I got home and finished up some calls that I had to do, it was close to, like, I don't know, 8 or 9 o'clock at night. And in my head, this is what was going on in my head. I'm like, I'm so tired. I'm trying to think if I already took a day off. I think I did. Oh, was I, was I sick on Monday? I don't remember. Maybe Monday was the day I was sick. So I've already had my day off. And I was like, Ugh. and the first thing that came into my head was just, you know what, you don't have to tell anybody. Just don't bring it up and, and just do a double workout tomorrow. But the thing is, is I realized that's what I've done in the past is I would get tired, I'd be in a hotel, and I would say that very thing, and I would say, okay, I'm gonna get up, I'm gonna, you know, I've got meetings at 10, but I'll get up early, I'll do a double workout. And then for whatever reason, because I firmly believe that whatever you create as a habit is what is likely continue, to continue, certainly in my life. So if I give up the night before, that next day, it's much easier, even though you don't want to, you guys, even though if you, if you want to eat better, if you ate crappy the day before, it's a lot easier the next day to eat crappy because you've kind of already got it in your head. I, whether you call it momentum or tendency or whatever, I just know that when, I, when I'm on a roll, I'm much more inclined to keep that roll going, the good roll, than if I am going up and down and, oh, well, I kind of worked out on Sunday and then I didn't. It's like your body gets used to whatever you're doing. And right now, my body is on this roll of, getting my mojo back, where I worked out all the time, where I wasn't thinking about the foods I'm not eating, you know, and I just had one cheat day, I used to do it on Fridays, um, whether you believe in a cheat day or not, you know, whatever, I'm not sitting around fantasizing about sugar or the foods that I'm not having, I'm eating healthy because that's all I'm thinking about, and I'm eating according to what works for me, I'm losing weight every day. I can see it. I can see it from here down. You know, they always say that you lose weight from here down. I'm seeing that my, my core is starting to show again. Um, and some of you have been writing to me going, when are we going to see full body vlogs? I will totally do full body videos. It just so happens, you guys, I don't have someone shooting me. So this is a tripod. And if I'm here alone in my house, I have to put a tripod up here. I don't have a tripod that goes... Um, that I could set and would get all that to say. I've tried to shoot videos of myself, um, and it meaning like doing a workout or maybe showing you a plank hold, um, you know, for proof. I haven't been able to do that yet. So I do, I am um, bringing someone on as like kind of a constant assistant, and they might be able to shoot some videos of that nature, but um, I have no problem doing that in the future. That said, it really is nice to be looking in the mirror and going, oh, see my waist again. Because for those of you that have been reading my blogs or watching my videos for a while, um, you know that I went into what they call early perimenopause and the area that I gained weight in, it was like all of a sudden, bam, I gained like 20 or 30 pounds. 
Um, I was a B cup in my bra and I went up, I lost a lot of weight before that. And then it was like, okay, you lost a lot of weight and now we're gonna gain a lot of weight. So I had been a B cup in my bra. I'd gotten down to a B cup. This was like during my divorce and right after my divorce. And I went up from a B cup to a D cup. My trainer was like, are you pregnant? Because my boobs were like all of a sudden just there. And um, then I gained weight on my in my middle, in my core, and in my tummy. And my whole life, if anybody that knows me knows, I've always been really curvy, but I don't gain weight on my tummy. Like my friend would always say, I hate you, Kelly, because you always have a really flat stomach. And even though I gain it in my butt and my thighs, I wouldn't gain it in my tummy. Perimenopause, I gain it totally, it, it, it hit me all in my core. And it was like, and it, it crept on in a creepy way. So it's like all of a sudden I had this tummy bulge that I'd never had before and then I don't think I even realized it, you know, until I started looking at the back and all of a sudden I'm like, who put that roll of fat underneath my bra line? Why is it there? You wouldn't think that you'd get fat back there. Oh, let me tell you something. That little thing is like a bitch. Can't wait till she's gone. Almost, it's getting better and better and better. Um, so, was I making a point? I just went on a journey and I don't think it stopped. But anyway, you guys are used to that every day. So all that to say, I went, didn't feel like working out last night, started to get this thing in my head of like, don't do it. And then I thought, you know what, this is what you've done in the past. And if you keep doing that, you're gonna, you're gonna ruin the momentum, so do it. So I told myself I kind of wanted to go out for a run. And it's been like, the weather has been, this is what's weird about Chicago. First, probably two or three weeks ago, it got up to 90. And it always gets up to 90 before my birthday, which is on Monday, April 2nd. Um, it gets up to 90 before my birthday. It will always snow after my birthday in Chicago. Now, mind you, we've only had two, I think two, that two snowstorms or two things of snow. Um, this winter, so maybe it won't, but it will get cold again. I've always told people, like, don't get your summer clothes out yet in Chicago. It's not that time. So, um, all that to say, it was kind of nice and maybe 65, I think maybe 60 yesterday, but it was still nice and sunny. <laughs> it really should have looked last night when I decided to go out for a, a walk slash run. Um, and it was obviously a lot colder than I thought. So I put a jacket on, I had my workout clothes on, I had my running shoes on, but I th I decided that I wanted to go for just like an hour long power walk in the hills. I told you guys my neighborhood's very hilly. Mr. Flo, Mr. Flo, where are you Mr. Flo? Actually, I'm realizing you haven't commented lately. Maybe you're sick or on vacation. Um, so I go out for a walk and um, I get about 20 minutes out and literally like the wind blowing for in my ears. First of all, I noticed that I could barely feel my toes and I'm like, is it really this cold out? And then, you know, again, I'm like 20 minutes out on my walk or maybe I was 15 minutes out and, and my ears were starting to hurt. So I had my headphones in my ears, but literally I was like, oh my God, I it's colder out than I thought I need to get in. And then I was really pissed off because I had so had my mojo going like, I'm like, I'm gonna do this. And then I'm walking home like, and it's the wind is blowing and I'm like ah, ah. so at least all I know is I did it it made me feel better I came back I did some core work and I did it so here I've got my workout clothes on it's Friday um, I'm trying to think of what my schedule looks like for today I've got a 12 o'clock appointment um, and then I have just stuff I'm working on here and uh, oh FedEx is here um, but uh, I think what I'm gonna do is glutes, glutes, and uh, lower body a little bit later today. All that to say, um, for those of you that are, um, you know, looking to reach some goals and you haven't done them in the past, what's that old saying? To get what you've never had, you must do what you've never done. This is what I've never done. I've never really, in this manner, put something out there so specific. And I think that's the key. You've got to put something out there specific that says, here's what I'm going to do. And then hold yourself to it. And don't give yourself any excuses to not do it. Sweet. Like, why is that? Sorry. Anyway, I got to go. Here's another 15 minute vlog. So, but I was rambling today. Really rambling, as usual. But anyway, you guys have a great weekend. I will see you tomorrow, um, Saturday and Sunday. I'm gonna go to um, hot yoga again. I might actually go to like a new yoga class he has tomorrow. And um, then you guys are gonna get to meet Corey because he'll be on some of my videos, like schooling me on things. Uh, so anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Gotta go.